to show to that little drawer. Well, today we're going to be doing a Halloween special. So I've been uploading in a while. I'll get to my usual uploading schedule this week. So we're going to be drawing a dinosaur mummy. So it's probably going to be a Spinosaurus or a T Rex. Let's just go with T Rex for this one. So basically we're just going to have the same structure but a bit more cartoony because you know this is um a um like this is like a cartoon drawing. Now we're going to add the neck. And now we're going to really make it seem cartoony by having a small tail around that big. If this was like a real dinosaur, it would be like up to there, maybe, but okay. Then we're going to make it look um, more cartoony by having tiny legs. Tiny arms. I mean, T Rex already has tiny arms. There we go. You know, I've got an idea. One Another idea is to make like it like stretch out. That just looks odd. <laughs> Let's probably not do that. We'll try and do that, but like T Rex there. And I want to move this leg a bit more forward. There we go. So that's basically our base for the T Rex mummy. And now we're actually going to do it. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make like um, the jawline, but with some parts missing, just to make it look like bandages are over that. And now we can do those bandages. And we might as well just do, um, a layout of the skull. There we go. Now we can add teeth here because these parts are going to be like um um being seen. Now we're going to just add bandages everywhere. And some bandages will be like um getting ripped through the teeth. Like the teeth might be penetrating through them. So yeah. And you want to have like a layers of bandages. Now, I think that's enough. So wait, we might want to do some shading. So we'll just shade the areas where it's like having light come to it. I mean like uh, um, it's getting shaded. That should make it look, you know, a bit um, more like what's going on here. So let's do them shading. Oh, I forgot about this. 
Ich brauche... I'm just gonna make this a bit odder. That looks a bit too curved, so I'm going to do that. And then we can rub it, the um, eye out layer. So now you're probably wondering, where's the eye? It's gonna be right here. Because of that, we might add some more bandages. And now we're just going to erase this part. And then, something like that. And then we can add a lot of shading. And now, maybe, we could color this in. So, let's go to get our pen, um, red pens, or red pencils. Do you want to go for a, a bit of a crimson red? Not really a dark, I um, mean like a bright red. And then we're just going to colour this in. That looks really cool. And then we might have some color to the bandages. And we're going to use like a beige for this. To give this like it's um, a worn out look. And for like really shaded parts, we might want to use some brown. I think we're done with the head. Now, let's go on to the body or neck. So now the neck's pretty easy because you basically just need to wrap it like this. I'm actually just going to quickly um, restart it. So I made um I think I want to have like straight lines here so like this and that yeah that looks better but you can curve them if you want then I'm going to add some more until we're done you want to also vary between how big the bandages are because you don't want all of them to be like really thin or really thick. You want to have some um, variety. But now we're going to slightly erase them to make them look a bit less. Yeah. So now we're just going to do a light coating. And then. 
we're going to take the brown pencil for shading. So we're basically going to do this for the rest of the body. Now let's do the arm. Oh, I've got an idea. We could make it look a bit more funny by having like, um, maybe one strand, like this strand. Instead of, you know, like, um, going off the page, we could make it, uh, um, like, I mean, still wrapping around the T-Rex. We could make it like it's, um, like it's hanging off the T-Rex. That looks pretty cool. Now, we are going to keep on doing the arm. So, get the basic structure. Now we're going to have the claws. And we're going to have the claws really big. Because this is supposed to be cartoony. Now we're going to shave it in. Put some beige. And then... And that's basically it for that arm. And then we might just have like a shaded layer here for the other arm. We won't pull that in, but yeah. We're going to have the spine and then the tail. I think that since this is a cartoon, you want to make that spike there a bit less like that. Now we're going to draw the feet, which are repeatedly really hard. I'm doing my classic method. Let him have some grass to stand on. Easy way to avoid feet. Let him stand on some grass. Or in this case, um, a jackal mountain. So we're going to have the eyes of the jack-o'-lantern. Wait, we might want to quickly add this. And now we're going to do the face of the jack-o'-lantern. That looks a bit off. So we're going to try that again. I think I've got the comps on um, the concept. Let's try that one more time. And I think that looks good. Now we'll just shade in the pumpkin because this is, remember, like, um, like, um, you know, carvings out with the, um, I'm pretty sure the light in it. Or, what I'm going to do, make it completely dark. You could always um, like have a lighter color because you know. But right now I'm just gonna do that, and we might want to add some color.
Great. So now we've got a jack o' lantern. Now we're going to um, continue with the rest of the body. Well, shaping out the rest of the body. So we're just going to quickly shade in this leg, like the other leg, um, the other arm. This one's not going to be like really seen. Yeah. Now, we're going to keep on doing this. That looks good. So we're going to keep on having the small, wide. Okay, now let's color it in. Just need to get a pencil. And let's color it in. Okay, so now we are going to shade it in. nothing there so we're just going to shade it in so if you see any empty spots just shade them in brown okay now let's keep on going on to the tail the tail so we're basically just going to do that We can just make it stop right at the leg. Yeah. And then I'm even just gonna have one wrapping around. And I don't know, maybe two. <laughs> Maybe two wrapping around the tail, but you don't wrap around the tail. Okay. So let's add just a bit more and I think we're done with the tail. Let's now color it in. Now we're going to use our brown pencil to do the shading, like always. Okay, now let's get to the leg. I left this spot um, empty, so I'm just going to um, add a few bandages to make it fit in. And now we're just going to do the same process for literally like everything. And there we go. Okay, now we can actually get to doing the leg. So it's going to be covered. Okay, 
So just add some more. I'm adding one more of those things which, um, you know, like the bandages which don't wrap around. And that's basically it for that. Oh, you know, we could actually call it um, those empty spots just brown. Okay, so I think we're done. Wait, we might want to add some finishing details. So it takes like a yellowish green because we are going to make this look a bit older. First, we're just going to do the grass with this green. And now we're just going to add some subtle green everywhere to make it look like it's gotten stained. Around here and around there. You might call it that and like a light shading of green. And I think that's really it. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later. Bye.